tonight, people in Plains are sending well wishes to former First Lady Rosalind Carter after the Carter Center announced this week that she is entering hospice care at home. Earlier this year, the family revealed the 96 year old Rosalind has dementia. Our Pelissero headed to Plains today to speak with people who know the Carters. As the manager of the Plains Historic Inn and Antique Mall said to me, to live in Plains is to know and love Rosalind. That love evident in the well wishes everyone has as the former First Lady enters hospice care. I wish her comfort and, um, you know, I just don't want her to suffer, but we'll miss her when she's gone and, and him also, but they've done so much for our town and for the world that they will never be forgotten. Ellen Harris says it's been a different year on Main Street in Plains, Georgia. We've missed them being on the sidewalks and walking around town because they walked around in the community every afternoon. Despite fewer sightings of the Carter couple, now that the former first lady has joined the former president in receiving hospice care at their home, the impact of their work lives in every turn and every one. I knew that she was having some problems with dementia, but I didn't know that it had gotten bad enough to do that. Nell Ariel went on several trips with the couple, helping build cost-friendly homes through Habitat for Humanity. The nonprofit says the Carters helped build or repair nearly 4,500 homes since 1984. She and I shared a room, bunk beds, just is so caring about everybody else. This was a gift from Rosalind to me because I had commented how pretty hers was, so she got one for me for Christmas 2011. A friendship that bloomed in the 80s inside the Maranatha Baptist Church where Nell's husband was a minister. It's here where she last saw the Carters two months ago. We were just happy to see them at church one more time, and two, we thought about it might be the last time. A friend, butterfly conservationist, author, Rosalind worked tirelessly next to her husband of 77 years to pass significant legislation advocating for mental health care, a legacy living in every turn and every one in Plains. They would visit for a while and then uh, he'd say, okay, Rosie, let's go, and they'd hold hands and walk out the door. Paula Suro, 11 Alive News.